This is Peter Rosenthal, head film critic for The Onion, and welcome to the special Oscar preview edition of the Film Standard. Today, I'll look at the many tremendous movies and performances from the past year and pick the ones I think will take home the top prizes at this Sunday ceremony using the 12-point Rosenthal scale, a patented ranking system I devised to determine a movie's caliber. Let's look first at American Hustle, one of the nine nominees for Best Picture. For its tremendous performances and thoroughly entertaining script, American Hustle begins with a basic score of 7.79, which I then apply to the Ziegfeld theorem, consisting of the film's runtime, T, box office revenue, R, and number of cars visible on screen, C. Using this formula, we solve for X and yield the result 223.99, which, of course, computes to a final Rosenthal score of 6.33. When applying this formula to Dallas Buyers Club, on the other hand, I add several additional variables, including F, the number of factual errors, and C, the number of cuts in the movie. I then graph this function, find the y-intercept, and arrive at a Rosenthal score of 9.96. I then subtract 8 because the movie was released on the first Friday of November. Using this method, I was able to give 12 Years a Slave a Rosenthal score of 3.56 and Nebraska a negative 11.91. Now, these are merely the preliminary numbers. To get the final results and to truly know which film will win the Academy Award, I go to the Film Standard Laboratory. At the Film Standard Lab, my experts put each nominated film and performance through a rigorous battery of tests, including advanced polymer synthesis, acid-based titration, animal testing, and field flow fractionation. Additionally, we have several technicians reenact scenes of movies to ensure we are remaining consistent within our research. Look at me. I am the captain now. And of course, each and every script is weighed on regulation scales to maintain the highest level of accuracy within the Rosenthal scale. Hmm. Interesting. At the end of this 45-day process, however, I end up at our final test which enables me to determine which film truly has the highest score on the Rosenthal scale. As you can clearly see, this test has proven that The Wolf of Wall Street has a performance ratio of 63.6%, giving it a final score of 11.88, a near-perfect Rosenthal score, meaning it will certainly be the movie that wins this year's Best Picture. Of course, it is worth noting that the Rosenthal scale typically only has a 29% accuracy rate, which you can see in last year's results. So it will be interesting to see how the scale fares this year. For The Onion's Film Standard, I'm Peter Rosenthal.